Good morning. This is day 43 and we are doing an unexpected zero here in Johnson City because of the weather. We were looking at the weather forecast yesterday and the weather forecast says lots of rain, thunderstorms, possibly tornado warnings around here, um, hail, just all of these things that sounded really scary and we just don't feel like it's safe to go out into the mountains in this weather. So, I mean, I don't wanna do another zero, we just had a zero, but I mean, we have to try to be smart and not risk ourselves. So, uh, a zero it is. <laughs> yeah, so basically the section that we're about to hike in the Rhone Mountains, it's um, uh, really high in elevation. And also they have a lot of these balls that are basically spots high in elevation that don't have any tree coverage so those would be dangerous to be in a lightning storm but then we are also about a week's worth of hiking from damascus virginia and i would really love to get there it would be so great to get uh, virginia started <laughs> but um we will get there in time and I will try my best to do smart decisions and not unnecessarily risk myself, even if I want to get the miles done. So zeroing here, being safe, and hopefully tomorrow the weather will be better and we can get over the Rhone Mountains. And also the mountains have a lot of beautiful spots, um, like great view spots. So maybe if it's not raining and thundering and foggy, maybe we can get some views. That would be really nice too. But we'll see. walking to the laundromat because since we're in town and all our stuff got really dirty and went yesterday well, it's, we might just well might just as well wash them Okay, so I just had the nicest encounter at the laundromat. Uh, so we were doing our laundry and there were these two very nice and friendly local ladies who started talking with me. And while the laundry was going, we had this um, conversation um, about hiking and the Appalachian Trail and Finland and um, all sorts of things. And um, um, we also talked about the the fast food chains in America <laughs> and um, I mentioned the donut uh, stores or the donut chains and I said that um, I had tried uh, Dunkin Donuts but I have not tried the Krispy Kreme yet and so then after the laundry was done and I was leaving one of them gave me a bracelet which was really nice and kind of interesting because just earlier today when we were at the Outfitters I actually considered buying a bracelet because I was thinking that, about, that while I'm out here it would be nice to wear a bracelet and then she just gave me a bracelet <laughs> um, so yeah then um, we said goodbye and Nimble and New York and I were waiting at the parking lot for a while and then a little bit later they drove back and <laughs> they'd gone to Krispy Kremes and um, I'll show you they gave me three or, or gave us uh, three Krispy Kreme donuts, which was so nice. I almost got teary eyed <laughs> because it, they were just so nice. Um, and yeah, New York told about my YouTube channel to them. So in case if you are watching, thank you so much. The whole interaction was so nice and it totally made my day. So yeah, 
Thank you. Yay, donuts. <sighs> that was so nice. So there's an European section here and I found some bouncy bars. I love these. I'm gonna go, definitely gonna buy a few for myself. <laughs> and Mars bars and Ritter's foot. <laughs> this is so cool. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna go look at chips. Okay. resupply is done and we secured ourselves a ride back to the trail tomorrow and let's hope that the weather will be better this time um yeah everything's done it was a productive good zero even though it was unplanned <laughs>